Hello scrapbooking friends and thank you for joining me for another scrapbooking process video. Today my layout is for the Scrap Backwards Facebook group set up by Scrappy Kathy and Scrappy Adam. The idea being that you find a sticker sheet or chipboard sheet from your collect your stash and you start with that and you scrap backwards so you can perhaps create, create a little kit or you know take it any way you want to take it. And um, I'm actually using all my Christmas stash prior to 2021. But you can add in new things too. Obviously, there aren't really any rules. It's just um, a way to use your stash. I'm starting with this um, plaid paper, which is from Echo Park. Let's go anywhere. And I've mounted it onto some white textured cardstock from American Crafts. That's where I'm going to start. Now then, my photograph is this one. It's just a funny photograph of some toys that I've purchased for the dogs. Um, and that's what I'm going to scrapbook today. And I was thinking I will probably put that there. I've got an idea of how I want it to look. So um, I think we're going to start with that there. Now the other things I've picked out is this small card from Tim Holtz, which I've had for quite a long time. I found this ribbon as well that I'm going to use. Um, this came from my chipboard sheet. So that's what I'm going to use from that today. I'm thinking there. And I've also picked up a few... Um, other things from my Christmas box which is this ho 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 I thought it was quite nice and definitely matches the paper and this little Santa word I've also got these two um, L Studio little um, coffee stickers they are they're really nice I thought they I might fit them in somewhere I was hoping to follow a, a sketch today but um, I kind of went a little bit off uh, off pattern with that so um, I, I can't say that I have followed it but uh, that was a Lisa Sikorsky sketch and, sketch and it's the one that um, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's the one that Adam and Kathy are using so um, yeah I'm, I'm sorry about that I didn't stick to it and um, so I've got some flare here dotted about flare and there's another piece here from the chipboard sheet so the uh, that came from this chipboard sheet here which is the uh, Dear Santa Cortabella and the Santa that I'm using came from the Simple Stories, Simple Vintage North Pole. And um, the uh, L Studio puppy uh, stickers came from this little packet here, and that's all that's left. So I'm hoping to finish that, you know, quite soon. And of course, again, I'm using the Tim Holtz uh, stickers. I'm hoping to use some phrases from there. So um, that's what I'm starting with. But I've also got these two small um, puffies that came from that same L Studio packet and I was thinking of putting those down here somewhere perhaps with a flare but we shall see what how we get on with that so uh, let's just have a little look and see I, was, I thought that that might look quite nice there just um, spanning the whole page and then perhaps this here and just a, a couple of pieces coming down here I do like the idea of the I do like to put a flare in the corner so it's some kind of embellishment and then perhaps this one down here to uh, balance my title is going to be sent to Santa and this is part of the title now the rest of the title I'm going to use these these puffies which I've used quite a lot these navy uh, thickers which I really like they're just they're so nice as a smaller alpha um, but then I came across these in the Tim Holtz uh, pad and I and I've got enough letters to do sent to so I may go with those to, to use them you know so uh, let's get started shall we I think I'll start off by putting the ribbon down because I've actually put the glue on it already the adhesive and we'll just it's hard sometimes to get the backing off when you do it on ribbon but I think it's coming off there I'll get that placed down I'm going to line it up along with the white line there because I, I don't know if this is an upside down or the right way around with this we'll do it that way um, I think I'll just line it up along there. Obviously it's not an exact straight line with it being ribbon, but uh, that's fine. I didn't mind that. I was going to place it under there, wasn't I? I, might to, I think I'll just trim a little bit off the end of that. Just to make it uh, look a little better. Okay. Put some adhesive on that. I'll pop that there because I do, I do want that to go there. Like that there. Pop that there. 
I've also picked up that uh, washi tape. I don't know if it's washi tape, but it's a tape. It's like a dime, dymo, those dymo machines. Um, I might use a little bit of that on this layout again. I did that on my previous layout. So I think I want to place this one here. Perhaps cross that line there. And then that says holiday shopping. I mean, in the UK, we don't really say holiday, we say Christmas, but, you know, it doesn't matter. It's still uh, a holiday, isn't it? Wrapping gifts there. And then I wanted this little tag, banner, to perhaps go here. Just against the uh, edge of the pattern paper there. And uh, I think I'm going to place that there. Goes over the edge a little bit, which I don't mind, I quite like. Yeah. Okay, so that's that section. I think that's that section done. And then I've got this ho ho ho, which I think are, it's uh, they're all individual letters actually. So I'll just place them. I think I might put that one within that uh, white line there. And then, I mean, obviously it's very similar to the uh, pattern paper, so it's not doesn't stand out enormously, but uh, you can see it, and I like it so. I think I'll just pop that one there and see how that looks. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I'm not going to put anything underneath um, the photo, so I'll just I'll set that down. This is just um, tracing paper from you know office supply shop. It's not vellum. It's just a pad of uh, tracing paper. So, and I like to use tracing paper. So. That's what I usually purchase. I wanted to line this up perhaps, you know, across those lines there, just because it looks nice like that. Not not centred as such, because it's not in the centre, but perhaps centred within that section. There. And then this one, I don't know if it's a, is it a sticker pad? Oh, it is a sticker pad, yeah. Oh, that's not going to come off easily though, is it? We'll see how, how that goes. Not sure. It's not massively sticky, so I'm going to add some uh, adhesive to it as well. Make sure it stays in place. And I was going to put in here, Jelly Santa. <laughs> okay. Now then, I think I'm going to add this flare bud here, and, then, and those two little puffies that came from that. Uh, I like them to go this way rather than that way, just so they're both the same and also it kind of matches the pattern on the layout. So I do it, if I'm doing cross stitch, I do it that way, but when it's not for that, I do it this way. If I'm doing a layout about cross stitch, I mean. And then I think I'll pop maybe the heart there on the on the tracing paper and the little green dot there. So um, my dog Chester likes. He's got a Brussels sprout ball that he really, really likes and plays with all the time. So, we, And it's kind of a bit battered, so we thought we'd try and get him another one. The only one we could find was a Christmas one. So uh, we got that, and I thought, well, I can't get him one and not get Buddy. So I got Buddy a pack of two, and, uh, and of course they're Christmas, so they can't have them until Christmas. So we're sending them to Santa. Because that's... I'm not sure whether other people said that but when we were young my parents always said that they were sending our things to Santa I think perhaps when we got a bit older maybe I'm not sure but um yeah our, our presents got sent to Santa and then of course Santa delivered them I'm not sure I'm entirely sure about this but um I really want to use it so oh no wrong one have it that way so I'm going to you know, just place it and then see what I think. I could have put that further over there, but I kind of wanted it to line up with the photo. So I'm hoping that we can get the rest of it in place there. We'll just put that there and see. Kind of line it with that edge. See. No, there's not going to be enough space there, is there? Mm, I wonder if I can pick that one. No, I don't want to pick that up. I think I'll just move that over a little bit. Just pop that there. 
and put the T there. Hmm. I think it does kind of line up with the, the diagonal, so but I think I'll have to move it over a little bit, which is fine because you know it kind of goes in line with the lines on the paper, so I think that'll be okay. Yeah, I think I like that. We'll stick those down. Yeah, there's not really too much, there's not a lot more to do to this layout, really. Um, as I said, I was thinking about using a piece of this somewhere, but I'm not sure that I need it now. I've got a few of these, um, I've picked out a few of these little word phrases from the uh, Tim Holtz pad. So we've got Christmas present, which it is. Um, not sure now where, where I would, I suppose I could put that on the photo because they are the presents. And then we've got, I'll carry it to the big sled and then filling our stockings. So perhaps, maybe I could put that there. And there. There. I quite like that. It's quite a quick layout. But I'm, I don't think I need to do much more to it. I quite like it as it is. I was thinking about, I've got these um, enamel, liquid sort of pearl enamel accents that I've had for a long, 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 long time. I was thinking of dotting some of those around. Uh, I'm not sure now. That one is well used. There's not a lot in there. I'd have to uh, make sure that it was, uh, you know, in the tip. Let me think. I could perhaps do some here, couldn't I? Or here. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm going to think about that, I think. I'm not sure. I just had a little think about it and uh, I'm going to give it a go. And I also remember that I had this do not open until... December the 25th uh, was she and I just added a little bit there just you know to go with the diagonal and um, I'm going to I'm going to try with this I'm going to put one here that's a red one on the black and um, I think I'll put one here red on black again um, actually I think I'll leave it at that I normally do you know three or, or odd numbers but I think today I'm going to uh, at the moment, I'm just going to do the two so it's, uh, sections. This one I might not have used in a while. I've had these for a long time. I think I originally purchased them for um, Christmas projects or not not for scrapbooking. I think I've had them longer than that. That one's not coming out. I think I'll have to do that off the camera. Let's try the white one. I'll try the white one. Hopefully this one will be okay, because I've just had it upside down. Try it there. Ooh, a bubble came out there. Don't want an air bubble. Ooh, hope it doesn't mess it. Let's try it. Oh no, it's fine. I'll put that there. Okay. <laughs> we'll leave that to dry, and then I'll try the black, and then I'll show you the photo afterwards. So, um, yeah, I think that's uh, the layout finished. I might do a, a little bit of writing here in a black journaling pen there's not much to say as I say it's just little gifts of the dogs that have been sent they're going to be sent to sand I had a real battle with this um acrylic I, I, in the end I had to cut the tip off and I got it everywhere but I did manage to use it <laughs> I put some here and some here as you can see but I'm not sure that I would trust that again we, we'll have to see um afterwards I did I'd forgotten about this I put a little bit of this tape down I added another flare because I quite like the heart and just a little bit of green to, you know, match with the, with the other green that was on the layout. And I just did the, I did do a little bit of um, journaling here using my um, scrapbook.com journaling pen in black. And that says a festive sprout for Chester and a couple of festive squeakies for Buddy off to Santa. Okay, thanks again for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.